Hello guys, it's Ben here from Talk Speak English. Today we're going to look at some phrases and vocabulary from a classic film, The Matrix. Without further ado, let's get to the video. The Matrix is a system, Neo. That system is our enemy. You look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters. The very minds of the people we are trying to save. In English, there is a common habit of using the verb and adding ER to make a job title. For example, let's take a look at the verb to teach. Now, if we add ER, we have the job, a teacher. And the same goes for paint and painter, build and builder, and drive, and of course, driver. Now, not all jobs follow this structure. For example, lawyer or businessman. But the more you know, the more often you will see this structure used in English. Very can be used as an adjective to emphasize the noun that comes after it. For example, he was born in the very home he was raised in and died in. In this example, the very home suggests that it's exactly that home and not any others. In this context, very is just another way to say exact. Let's take a look at it being used in this way. The very minds of the people we are trying to save. So very is used here so that the listener knows exactly what it is he is referring to. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. Un is a common prefix used in English which means to reverse something. Now, a prefix is something that we add onto the start of a word that changes its meaning. For example, we can do an action on the computer and then we can undo it by clicking a button. We can also tie our shoelaces and reverse the action by untying them. In this example, the verb plug is used. Now, plug is usually used to refer to something electrical. For example, we would plug in a TV or a computer. As the Matrix is a computer simulation, Morpheus is saying that the people are plugged into a big machine and not ready to be unplugged, which is to reverse the action of plugging something in. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. Inert is an adjective which means lacking the ability or strength to move. Hopelessly is another way to say extremely or in a way that makes you lose hope. If you are dependent on something, you need it to feel normal, like how an alcoholic is dependent on alcohol, or a heroin addict would be dependent on heroin. Morpheus uses an excellent example of the past continuous here to express an action in progress at a specific time in the past. Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. Who is it? What are they? Sentient programs. They can move in and out of any software still hardwired to their system. That means that anyone we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. Inside the Matrix, they are everyone and they are no one. Now, sentient means to be able to perceive or feel things. For example, it is hard for a sentient person to understand how anyone could treat an animal badly. To be hardwired means to be built to work in a particular way that cannot be changed with new software. If someone or something is hardwired to do a particular thing, they automatically do it and cannot change that behavior. For example, we could say that a cat is hardwired to hunt for mice. In other words, it cannot change its behavior. It is born with that instinct. I won't lie to you, Neil. Every single man or woman who has stood their ground, everyone who has fought an agent has died. But where they have failed, you will succeed. To stand your ground means to physically refuse to be pushed backwards or it means when you continue to support a particular argument when other people are trying to make you change your mind. For example, 
we could say that the army stood its ground in the face of repeated attacks. In other words, it's saying that the army didn't move backwards, they stayed where they were. So there we are guys, another video done for you there, and I hoped you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Now, don't forget, it's your comments and your support that really help me and encourage me to make these videos. So if you want to see anything in the future, why not leave me something in the comments down below? Once again guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.